I keep saying that what's so difficult but also so incredible about theater is that it's ephemeral. It's not like TV or film where anybody could see it at any time. So to know that our show and our performances and Yazbek's score lived in the imaginations of people for this long, it's pretty gratifying. So, And it's kind of elongated the life of a show that I feel like ended too quickly. It, it was definitely was a marathon. I mean, there were some days where I would, like matinees, I'd be like, boo, I'm not going to make it. But for the most part, it was like being a rock star. People would applaud in between when I was running off. I mean, it was just incredible. I've never had an experience like that, where an audience is just so eager to hear what you're going to say next. <laughs> God, I miss it so much. I do it in my house. Not as effective. I memorized it super fast, it's, and that is a tribute to Yazbek, because even though it was very wordy, it all made such comedic sense to me. It was right after my second neck surgery, so I was in like a full-blown hard collar, and I was listening to it, and I was like, I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to do this. And I would like try to do it, and I'd be like, blah, blah. I don't think I can do it. So I, it was overwhelming, but I miss it. And if anyone wants, I'll come to your home and do it for you. No, I won't. I might. I love working with Jeffrey Lane, and I feel like Women on the Verge was the best collaboration I've ever been involved with. It's great that people are taking notice and that through the nomination, um, telling myself and my collaborators on the show that this was a show that meant something to them. Uh, we uh, approached it as a challenge. That's what made it fun for us. That's why we did it. And that's why we worked very, very hard for several years on it. But the entire journey for us was uh, very, very hard and very, very satisfying.